Hi everyone, my name is Sunday Kaba. I'm with my, my lab partner, Masana Kosa, and together we're doing a lab project on testing of protective relays using a real-time data simulator. So basically testing of relays is a necessity in order to ensure that the relay under specified settings can identify defective lines or power system equipment and swiftly remove them from the power system to the use of circuit breakers with the main objective of avoiding damage avoiding a widespread disruptions and safeguarding personnel from a seed hazard that include fire. So as a power system equipment, a power transformer can be subjected to both internal and external uh, faults, where the internal winding faults are generally attributed to degradation of uh, insulation as a result of thermal, electrical and mechanical stress. So the internal um, winding faults include 10 to F, 10 to 10 and phase to air transformer fault. But phase to air transformer fault can be due to uh, bushing flash over uh, phenomena. So in the rare cases, we get primary to secondary faults, and as well as we get external faults that will balance and unbalance uh, faults. So the testing objective of our lab project therefore becomes to ensure that the relay issues a trip signal under internal faults and ignores faults um, outside the protected zone and false fault triggering phenomena such as the, that are caused by the presence of uh, inrush current. The transformer under, in our model that is used for, 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 for our test is a start data transformer which steps down 132 kV to 11 kV and it is tested under a differential uh, protection application of the relay. The RTDS is a testing phenomenon that will provide a testing uh, facility which enables a close loop interaction between the model power system and the physical relay in real time. Such, as, uh, such a close loop interaction is referred to as a hardware in the loop and it is more preferred over your typical testing uh, techniques that are the likes of your injection tests. So basically this is our test setup for our lab project. We have an RTDS which is connected into an RSK host PC. So what an RSK does is that it allows us to actually build models that are run on the RTDS. Again, connected to the RTDS uh, is the Omicron CMS 156. It's basically a voltage and current amplifier that converts voltage and, and uh, voltage signals from the RTDS into a real current and, and voltage signals that can be injected into uh, external hardware. Connected to the uh, CMS156 is the RNC670, which is the, the protected protection uh, relay that's uh, tested under differential protection. The settings of the relay are configured using uh, PCM600. This is the host PC for the PCM600 software. Uh, hi guys, my name is Masana, as my colleague Sanela has already introduced me. So I'm basically going to be taking you through the modeling of the uh, transformer, protective transformer and RSK software. So um, basically what it did is we've uh, modeled a three-phase transformer using single-phase transformer models available in RSK and this allows us to divide the windings into two so that we are capable of introducing uh, different types of uh, winding faults. So, We've used these three uh, models to model the nonlinearity properties of the core, and this allows us to simulate um, inrush current. So I'm going to take you uh, through the runtime to demonstrate how the relay works. And then here are the um, uh, voltage and current waveforms, which indicates the um, the, uh, rate, the 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 rated uh, voltage and, and and current on both the primary and secondary side, and um, as you can see, um, they match our um, nameplate rating of the um, transformer. So, I'm going to introduce uh, an unbalanced fault which is outside the protected zone. So, as you can see, there are current imbalances, but the relay uh, restrains from operating. So, it's able to um, discriminate between um, a fault with, uh, inside the um, the protected zone and outside the protected zone. So again, I'm going to introduce a, a 10 to 10 fold where 7% where of the windings are shorted. And uh, as you can see here, yeah, the relay issues a trip signal. Yeah, and the trip signal is fed back into the 
RTDS, where it actually interacts with the power system module that has been um, built. And as when we detect the tube signal, we open the circuit breakers connected to both to, to, to uh, the primary and secondary side of the transformer. And as you can see, there's no current flowing um, in the primary and secondary side of the transformer. So uh, in conclusion, we can say we've um, successfully tested the relay uh, with introducing faults that are outside the, the protected zone, which are balanced and unbalanced faults, and we also simulated in rush currents and the relay restrained from operating. But the relay issued the chip signal when we introduce uh, winding faults like turn to turn, turn to ground, and also face to ground, which are as a result of uh, flash, flash over from pushing to uh, the high voltage cable going inside the transformer. So uh, the relay actually operates as expected.